to move forward. Madeline? Well, the bill would allow the city of Abilene to use portions of the hotel occupancy tax, or HOT, generated after construction is complete to help pay for the downtown hotel. I'm told that without this funding, the plans for the hotel could fall flat. Here's why our district senator thinks there's nothing to worry about. It's a dream Abilene leaders have had for over a decade. To build a, a convention hotel right here and take our convention business and our downtown area to a, a, a whole new high, a real game changer for uh, the city of Abilene. And through many collaborations, a plan was made to get the wheels rolling on a convention hotel. That plan coming in the form of Senate Bill 729, which will allow the hotel occupancy tax from the convention hotel go towards paying off the project instead of being dumped into the state tax funds. So one of the things this bill does is it doesn't allow us to take the taxes paid by other hotels. It only allows us to use the tax generated by the hotel that's being built, so by the improvement. Tuesday, the bill passed through the Texas Senate, and Senator Buckingham, who authored the bill, says she feels good about it passing through the House. We're very excited that it passed the Senate yesterday. We feel like it's getting good movement in the House as well, and we just think it's going to bring a lot of economic opportunity into Abilene. City leaders like the Abilene Chamber of Commerce president say they believe the downtown hotel will set Abilene apart, which could bring in a key demographic that Abilene is lacking. Very unique to Abilene, uh, urban environment that is appealing to that next generation worker. But Peter says he's unsure about the future of the hotel if the bill drops cold in the house. If it fails, uh, we will make a run at trying to work with the developer to find alternative ways to make it happen. But I have to tell you that uh, in all likelihood, without the support of the state, this project likely won't happen. The bill will now move on to the State House of Representatives. And today we reached out to our district representative, Stan Lambert, about Senate Bill 729's companion bill, House Bill 1529, and how they will impact Abilene's downtown hotel. He sent us this statement, which reads in part, quote, Downtown Abilene is the center of many of the city's important events and activities. The city, the chamber, and the other officials who have been closely involved in this legislature process agree that the completion of a convention center hotel will be a game changer for the city of Abilene. Live in studio, Madeline Montgomery, KRBC, Abilene's local news.